Hello everybody. Today I have this Opel Astra J with this is the 1.3 diesel and the gearbox F17. The millage of the car is 190 thousand kilometers and the gearbox start uh, to do some some rim, 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 rim. so as i found many information that the, this gearbox has some engine problem or oh, no uh, manufacturer problem that uh, bearing is coming out and it goes with shaft and need to replace shaft and bearing but it's very expensive so i will i will change the full gearbox i bought one with the 100 thousand kilometers later i will show you what is the gearbox now I want to do some little test drive to show how it do this uh, <laughs> rush. Let's go. This mirage. So now I will drive. When I'm, it start about 40 kilometers <clears throat> and on the load. If I push the clutch, no rush. No sound. Uh, so I, now I will drive, and maybe we will, you know, hear the this is noise. Right. Video. Okay, let's drive. Okay. Even I hear this noise on the thirty kilometers. Now I will push the clutch. No noise. Again. Fifth gear. It's noise like <laughs> if I push the clutch, like no load, no noise, silence, all okay. Once again. Fifth. On neutral, also no, no noise. Let's return. Oh. Clutch. No noise. Neutral, no noise. Second. 
sir. Look, 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 look. Let's do 30 kilometers. Third gear. Hum, 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 hum. This is the noise of of bearing on the shaft, second shaft, main shaft. So the main shaft is part of bearing. It don't has the bash, and uh, this is the problem. Need to change the shaft. Shaft cost about 30, 40, oh, 300, 400 bucks. I bought the gearbox full full gearbox for 100 bucks, so I will change it. But as as I know, it's the how to say. <laughs> no, really, when you buy the used gearbox, you don't know has it rush or don't has. Because I heard that uh, some people change twice, three times, and gearbox no good, no good. Once again, once again. Also, uh, gearbox, for example, this is Astra J has a radio on the main, uh, main, uh, um, just uh, no words the 3.94 ratio i bought the gearbox with ratio 3.55 so we'll see it will a uh, little faster Clutch, no noise. Again. Even when I go in on the gear with no loads, also it has uh, noise. Only when I put the clutch on neutral, no noise. So let's get in to the garage and we'll remove the all what need and gearbox. So this is the gearbox that I bought, it is F17, but it's not from Opel, it came from Suzuki Swift, also 1.3 diesel, but it's the same engine, same gearbox, I bought it, now I will open it, I want to change oil seals and I want to change the bearing that do its noise I hope that this gearbox is in good condition the bearing that I want to change it on this place 
So now I will, I will open it to the two half and we will see what condition of shaft and bearing. I also bought new bearing. Let's do it. I just want to show you when it's uh, the number of gearbox box and the ratio on this place. See? Look, the F17 W355, 355, the ratio of main gear. On my gear box, it 3.94. We'll see if will car will move faster, it will good. Now I will open the, this and this and we'll remove all. So remove this. Removed and uh, on first look it looks very good. Oil is clean. What I want to say, when you buy the gear box, need to pay attention on this gap. You need to move in out. It don't be a gap. If it has clearance, little clearance, no good. We'll do some noise. This gear box don't have a clearance. Don't have a gap. So now I will remove this, this, and we'll go out with the fifth gear. Even I think I will not open this. We'll see. So I remove this cover, but no need to remove it, but I will clean all, all. So I will decide to decide to remove it. Now with the hammer and the screwdriver, I open it. I also I remove the reverse sensor, and that's all. And we'll with like this round, no in force. Now we'll. I, Wait a minute, I will put the... Okay, so what I can say, the gearbox is in excellent condition. This is the bearing the do problem. It goes on this shaft. As you can see, the shaft is excellent. It's working. It's one hundred thousand kilometers. But I see I bought the bearing for my gearbox. And I check the this is this gear boxes has three three type of main gear ratio. This is the three point five five. I have the three point ninety four on 
Jill Box with uh, Radio 3 94. It has this bearing. It much more bigger. But no problem. This shaft is the. Uh, I see. This, it's 24 millimeters. So now I will clean all of this. We'll put the gasket, no gasket, the silicone gasket. Close all, and we will remove the my gearbox from the car and put this one. Let's go. Be careful. It has the magnet. I put some silicone that will not go out. And this washer was in this place. But it has hole. No. I want I will put it like this and we'll put this rubber ring that will not go out. No, not will happen. Nothing. Now it no go out. I will. I can put it inside because it will like this, and it can fall. Yes. Also magnet. Okay. Now I will put the silicone and we'll close it. So I put all thing back put the silicone this place also gear selector change all of seals put some oil that will no dry put this little grease check that the uh, oil all gears is I can put on reverse and shift okay so now I'm ready to change Once again, I will say that is this is gearbox from Suzuki Swift. <laughs> it's not open, but it's all things. It says that uh, let's we'll see, GM, 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 because it has same engine, 1.3. It's engine that was made by Fiat and GM. Okay, so I start to remove old gearbox. Let's see. Oh, this is this is this is this is yeah. I see that need to remove these big things. Also, the rubber is not good, but it's still working. Okay. 
So this big part is down. It was not easy. When you have no many place in garage. Now it's free to remove the gearbox. See this is little problem. Steering place. Now I will go to the up and we will move there. So I remove everything. This is the Oop. took the gym. See it's it moving. Let's see how it <laughs> this is Jack Hold the engine. Gearbox is Oh, I see green. <laughs> yeah. It's. Tag. Oh, I see. I like this. Now I will remove it down. Oh, yeah. And the flywheel. What? Go check it. So I removed the gearbox. This is the gearbox from Opel. This is my Opel. And Zod, as I told you, I bought from uh, Suzuki Swift. And it's a surprise it has some changed <laughs> changes first of all no this this gearbox is uh, 119,000 kilometers this is only 100,000 kilometers so i can see it has uh, the shaft the shaft has gap gap by this side look even it do some noise this gearbox don't has this gap it's okay and now uh, the clutch disc from from this gearbox not fit to Suzuki. It has different teeth. No, it's no problem. I bought also I bought the set of clutch with flywheel fr from this car for from this Suzuki Swift. Like I bought gearbox and full set of clutch with flywheel look this is the fly this is disc from from this gearbox it's the same little difference no problem but yet one thing that i can't install this uh, gearbox why the holes for screws it has different holes no like look like uh, on this three i have two small one big this is big go to with the screw on this gearbox i have big on this side so i need to do this hole much more bigger uh, this hole 
and, and this you see on the down this on the down small this hole and uh, it has hole like this on this place small hole I also need to do uh, for screws okay I will do it uh, by my drill with the uh, no I will do by myself uh, that hole that is a uh, uh, 16 millimeters and uh, 12 millimeters no problem I think and uh, what I want ah, now I will show you what the difference in clutch and how to check the clutch and the flywheel okay this is the set of clutch this is from Opel and this is from Suzuki that I bought with the gearbox. Uh, first of all, I want to show you the plate of clutch. You see, one of these is little down. It's no good. When you push the pedal of pedal of uh, clutch, you will feel like this. This, uh, it, uh, this is the reason, As it says this, this plate, no good, okay, the disc, and also this plate, it's uh, like 200 kilometers, this 100,000 kilometers, on, on this, all, all good, see, all good, okay. And also, it uh, not the same. It has little difference on the. I will show you. If you see what is the on this and on this, it much more down. But the plate also not not the same. This. Uh, inside the unit much more bigger than on this no like I can install this plate to this flywheel so I, I need to use set only flywheel with this plate and disc okay now uh, how how to check the flywheel the look it's manufacturer says that is gap like clearance first of all all of them it look like this and like this this gap not uh, need to be if you have a bash like in my uh, case it bash need to be not more than three 0.5 millimeters you see it has no they're okay okay but when you push the this unit it need to be not more 70s I do the mark now oh, you see I push push oh. by my one hand it's little oh this is it says one two three four five six seven seven if I do by two hand it will be much more bigger 90s as it says that this five will end it can can work but it's no good this is this five wheel uh, has uh, 100 miles kilometer no miles 100,000 kilometers and look how much this it has I move by one hand 
no much better to move by two hand you see oh, so. e about two three teeth and as this flywheel is very good okay and now now what about the clutch disc clutch disc them in same condition uh-huh zero it has 5.8 and this from suzuki 6.1 it's little but it's no good really when it will five and half it will switch so what i will do i bought this to you see seven seven without without uh, this one when i will install them to the disc it will about eight even nine it will good so i i will i will drill all of them and put this new one it little little bigger little bigger but it's no problem now you see in a diameter is okay out little bigger but i will will do the dimension what i need that it will inside this it's no problem i will show you how to do it need to little thing <laughs> i know how to do it i did it many many times i will push i will mark no problem so let's begin do the disc and install the set of clutch do the new holes on the gearbox and install all okay so now i will do some holes yes this 16 ah it's okay 16 wait what i remember it ah i need this i have only 30 and this one this one It's on the down also. Yes. And from this side, it's. Oh, yeah. 30. Well, ah, yeah. 12 and a half. And I have. Nine, ten. So let's do it. Once again, I need hole like this on this place and hole like this on this place. So it's in a diameter, it's twelve, and out it's sixteen. Also this. So first I will do the twelve and half, and after I will do with this. It's 
16. I need it on this place and on this place. I did it holes. Yes. Okay. A little clean and we'll install first I will install the clutch and after I will install the this gym box okay, let's let's check how much three ah. Ah, okay and this Yes, okay. Little forgot that need to do new thread for bolt. So what I did this this and this. So I put back the clutch, this is on center, yeah, like this, and all bolts are closed with 17 Newton meters. Bolts by flywheel. Uh, these bolts smaller. Okay, now I will put the gear box. So this, this is my construction. This is my gear box, and we'll install it. I use this construction. That I, do, I, can, I can do it with no any help, just do it by myself. You see? Oop. 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 How do it?
So I install it and it was uh, very good but I start to close uh, the bolt and I see that I did some mistakes. I need uh, more holes. For this I need uh, holes for bolt and do new thread. Also I need to this little bigger hole and on this place also I need uh, like all holes all holes are different it's no problem i will do on i have all uh, equipment or tools now i will do it but the gearbox is installed very good okay i'm finished to do new thread Also, I want to check how board go inside that will no longer, maybe need to little cut this bolt. I will do it a little later. Oop, yes. Now it has the new thread. All wood. No little clean. So what I did, all complete. So I did on this place, new hole, on this place, uh, like two holes, one smaller, one bigger. This place, also new hole, one smaller, one bigger. This new hole for board, this new hole and new thread and on this place also a new hole and new thread that's all so now i will little clean it and once again installed now i'm sure that all so as you can see it possible Let's check that, it, that is, this bolt is not longer because it's a new thread that I don't know how how much is go inside. So I will check this. This is forty six. Now how much is this? Another one and how much is this? Oh, oh, forty six, and we have fifty one. Us, it's okay. Look. Yes, 45 in 11 plus 11. Yes, it's okay. Okay.
just a second. Yes, is inside. Install the all bolts. So the gearbox on his place. All bolts are on place. One, two. Yeah. Also, this one. Oh, was near third. And this one. All good. All, all the good. Okay. So I will back all parts and before start the engine. So, so I close everything, everything put it back, all good, fill the oil, put the two liters, drain off the air from clutch, Grease, some degrees for all places, even ball joint. World new, this one put new rubber. All good. Now we'll start, we'll check that everything all right. Let's go. So I put all back two little test drive all okay. All gears are working. The pedal is no any vibration. No any noise. The gearbox is working fine. Now we'll do a test drive. I want to show you that it is silence. Turn off the. So let's go. First. It was on 2000, was uh, 74 kilometers. Now I have, <laughs> now I have 77, like the same. Okay. So as you can see 
it's no any noise it says it is the gearbox is very good it really 100 thousand kilometers so what i can say i won't say again that i installed the gearbox from suzuki swift with the full like i bought i bought the gearbox and full set of clutch from one car and installed it to this open and it's working very good even that the uh, rating of main gear in the old uh, gearbox it was 3.94 and now I have 3.55 uh, now I will go to hide highway to check how I think it uh, I see that is the same it not feeling something it's uh, working good it's very good so good luck guys if you have any help any questions if you need any help any parts i can help with everything need to add some diesel